if you thought these were real body butters, then you're in for a shock. Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and today we're making a staple. The Body Shop Body Butters are rich, thick, creamy, they smell absolutely incredible. But when you look at the ingredients on the back, would we call this a body butter? Either way, we're gonna have so much fun remaking these and you'll understand a lot more once we get into the ingredients. Body butters were one of the few moisturizers that were well known for being 100% oil based. But for the Body Shop's ingredients, we've got water, emulsifiers, stabilizers, and preservatives. The first ingredient is water followed by mango oil, not butter, oil, um, interesting. Then we have cocoa butter, glycerin, a bunch of emulsifiers, PG100 steret, also glycerol steret, cetyl alcohol, epilepsy palmate, which I believe is a replacement for mineral oil, Brazil nut oil, soybean oil. Oh, <laughs> and we've got silicones. So we've got dimethicone. The silicones give products a really silky, soft feeling. They have a completely different texture to oils and butters. So for some, it kind of feels artificial, but they're really popular in a lot of products. Perfume or fragrance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whenever you see that on a list, you can be pretty sure that they're not using essential oils and they're probably using synthetic fragrances. Then you've got your preservatives like phenoxyethanol, capricorn glycol, xanthan gum as like a thickener, we've got vitamin E, benzyl alcohol, citric acid and finally we have some synthetic colorants that gives it that really rich lovely yellow color. So what the body shop sells are actually emulsified body butters. They're essentially more like traditional creams that are made to resemble the rich and thickness of body butters. So I'm going to show you how to make these cream body butters as well as an actual body butter. And that way you can compare the differences and see which one you prefer. The ingredients for the Body Shots body butters vary wildly depending on which version you have. So I'm basing my recipe around the mango body butter ingredients as it's the most simple and my favorite. To make it, we'll need water, glycerin, mango butter, I know the body shop only uses mango oil, but I can't in good conscience make a mango body butter without any mango butter. Fractionated coconut oil. You can of course use regular coconut oil, but this is one of those industry secrets that takes your creations to the next level. To emulsify, we'll need two types. I'm using olive derived emulsifying wax and glycerol steret. Then to thicken and stabilize, cetyl alcohol and centum gum. The body shops, as well as other emulsified body butters, have to balance using oil, but without being oily. And that's why they're able to apply more easily, as well as absorbing faster into your skin when compared to traditional body butters. And of course, because oiliness is just a natural part of using oils and butters, it's common to find ingredients like synthetic ammonians, silicones, bulky agents, and other ingredients that are all used to improve the texture of emulsified body butters. For my attempt at the Body Shop's body butters, I've tried to stick to using more naturally derived ingredients, as I'm guessing most of you would prefer a silicone-free recipe. First start by prepping the xanthan gum by mixing it in with the glycerin before pouring it into water. If you happen to experience any PTSD from dealing with xanthan gum in the past, don't worry, we're using such a small amount you won't have any problems. Once added to the water, it thickens almost immediately. For the oil phase, combine the mango butter, emulsifying wax, cetyl alcohol and glycerol steroids in a heatproof container. Glycerol steroids is a key ingredient in the Body Shots formula to limit the greasiness in their body butters. Don't have it and not sure you want to get it? Not to worry, at wholeelise.com you'll find the full written recipe along with a handy guide to any unfamiliar ingredients, potential substitutions and more DIY skin and hair care recipes. Click the card icon above or follow the link at the end of this video to wholeelise.com. Once we're all clued up, add in the oil and move on to melting. Then over a low, gentle heat, melt until there are no solids remaining. Pour the molten oils into the water phase and whisk thoroughly. You may need to transfer it into a large container if, like me, you stubbornly refuse to use the right size beforehand. Move to a flat surface and with your trusty immersion blender in tow, begin emulsifying this cream body butter concoction until it starts to thicken. Take 
texture wise you're looking for um well a cream a thick cream yeah at this point it's more cream than body butter but stick with it and once it's completely cooled move on to preserving due to this being a hybrid of oils and water a preservative is not optional you'll need a broad spectrum preservative as well as an antioxidant i'm using the naturally derived preservative eco and vitamin e and finally for that signature aroma it's anyone's guess unfortunately the body shop employs the old fragrance tactic in order to keep their secret scents to themselves so i'm not even going to try and replicate it However, you can just add in your favourite essential oils or use a pre-made mango fragrance. All that's left is to mix again thoroughly and transfer it to a pretty convincing, if I do say so myself, DIY Body Shop Mango Body Butter container. Emulsified body butters are great for those who like rich and intense moisturizers but want to minimize the chance of their skin either feeling greasy or weighed down. And even though they're not 100% oil based, they're still going to be far more moisturizing than traditional creams and lotions. Incidentally, because they have a much smaller quantity of natural oils and butters, they're also cheaper to make. But when you compare emulsified body butters to whipped body butters like this one, they're just not going to be as moisturizing. Now if you prefer a true body butter that's rich and long lasting but still feels lighter on the skin, then whipped body butters are definitely the way to go. Now for those of you who came here expecting an old school body butter and were left wanting by the Body Shop's reimagined offering, this 100% oil based whipped body butter won't disappoint. Again, I'm using mango butter for the base along with cocoa butter, cetyl alcohol, fractionated coconut oil, Brazil nut oil or any other light oil will do, and our root powder. If you want all natural ingredients, lasting moisture, as well as the full benefits of using these oils and butters, then you are going to have to use a 100% traditional body butter or whipped body butter recipe. There are however a few things that you can add to body butter recipes that can reduce that greasy quality without turning it into a completely different product. In this whipped body butter, mango butter is elevated from opening act to headliner. It's a soft, nutrient-rich butter which hydrates, heals and improves the overall appearance of your skin. It's semi-hard state makes it easier to absorb into your skin, packing it full of vitamin C, E, A and folates. Our body butter is further boosted by cocoa butter's occlusive properties that provide a thin barrier on the surface of your skin to prolong hydration and prevent moisture loss. It also gives a wonderful chocolatey aroma that is just delicious. Acetyl alcohol gives our body butter a nice smooth application, in addition to providing its own moisturizing properties whilst keeping a firmer texture. While it's not essential, it does have a noticeable benefit to the overall texture. Melt your body butter base, again using low heat as to preserve the silky smooth natural texture of butters. Once cooled but still completely liquid, add in the liquid oils, in this case Brazil nut and coconut oil, your favourite essential oils and vitamin E oil, and mix thoroughly before setting in the fridge. Now this could take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes, but we're looking for our body butter to reach this semi-set thick consistency, also known as trace. At this point, we can add in the arrowroot powder that we measured out earlier. But Elise, what's the purpose of this late addition? Well, adding another starch or powder is another way to reduce the residue you get with oily butters. I use arrowroot here, but cornstarch, clays and rice powder are common alternatives. It gives a slightly drier application that cuts down the amount of time it takes the body butter to absorb into your skin. Whisk the powder into the body butter, making sure there are no lumps remaining. A couple minutes later and the colour should be visibly lighter. At this point, put it back in the fridge to set. After roughly half an hour, the body butter has firmed up slightly and formed soft peaks. Whisk again until you reach your desired consistency. The more air you incorporate, the lighter your body butter will be. Alternate between refrigerating and whisking until you find the perfect balance for you. I've designed this body butter formula to retain its soft and ultra fluffy consistency over time, but you do need to make sure that it's whipped thoroughly before you put it into your container. It will set slightly over the next 24 hours, but after that it should keep its soft texture. As pretty as this looks, for a more practical finish, level off the top and use a utensil to create a swirl. 
all three body butters are incredibly light and have smooth applications. But there are noticeable differences in how emulsified body butters look and apply to your skin, especially when compared to traditional oil-based body butters. Both the body shops and my recreations have a slightly white cast as you rub into your skin. They actually appear a little thicker when compared to the whipped body butter that instantly melts, easily spreading over the surface of your skin. However, after massaging, you can see a slight layer of oil that makes the skin glisten, whilst the emulsified body butters don't leave any residue and have completely absorbed. Body butters are some of the most intensive moisturizers that you can use. They're great for dry skin, as well as those who live in colder climates that need lasting moisture. But they're essentially just oils and butters mixed together, so they're always going to have a certain oily or greasy quality to them and take longer to absorb into your skin. This is especially true if you're comparing it to creams and lotions. Ultimately, it's just down to personal preference, but you can check out the full recipes at holalise.com and subscribe for even more natural hair and skincare tutorials. Want to know how to make more of your favorite products? Click the links below to more of my DIY tutorials.